What's up YouTubers, welcome to another tutorial in which I will be showing you how to download and install Journeymap for Minecraft on version 1.12. First off, I am going to install a clean version of Minecraft so that you can be sure that I didn't install any of the mods before. So we're just gonna do it from the start to the finish and... Yeah, so this is loading, this is just like me creating a default 1.12 profile, nothing special going on right there. Um, for the mod we're gonna need two files, the mod itself of course, and it's running on Minecraft Forge, so we're gonna need to download Minecraft Forge 2. To download those files I put both links in the description of this video below, so you can just go there and check them out. Alright, so first off we are going to need Minecraft Forge and we are going to download the recommended file for Minecraft 1.12 on the Windows installer. Right now my Minecraft has been downloading the 1.12, as you see nothing special going on. And when we have installed Forge it will say mods like right there, but we'll see that in a bit. Alright, so I can go ahead and close Minecraft and we are, as I said, going to install the Windows installer for Minecraft Forge. You will be redirected to an focus site which you will have to wait 5 seconds and then you'll be able to download the file in the top right corner. Right there, so that's the first file we're gonna need and another one is Journeymap itself, so we are on the journey map site and we can go ahead and click download for 1.12 this will redirect us to curse.com and it might give you a warning about uh, the file but it's just safe so you can uh, go ahead and press keep it or anything like that um, alright so those are both the files we're gonna need and I'm gonna drag them to my desktop so we can easily access them when we'll need them and that's what we'll need for now so we can go ahead and close your internet browser alright so first off we are going to need to install Minecraft Forge from the installer so you can just go ahead and open that and this will say uh, yeah where your Minecraft directory is this should be the default one otherwise you'll have to do it manually but by default this is the right path um, yeah, you can unclick Mercurius, we don't need that, and just make sure you have install client selected and just press OK. This will only take a few seconds and then it will say it successfully downloaded Minecraft Forge. That should be there like right now. Yeah, successfully installed client profile Forge for version Forge 1.12. So right now we are going to open up Minecraft again. And we should be able to see a little arrow right here, like I have. And you want to go there and press the Forge profile that got just created by the Forge mod loader. So select the profile and hit play again. This will make sure your Forge is uh, yeah, fully implemented into your game. And right now when Minecraft has loaded, we can go ahead and close it again. But as you can see right now this has changed already it's uh, loading the mods and right here we have a little mods folder thingy so that means forge is installed correctly it says four mods loaded that's just the default stuff that you get when you download and install minecraft forge so this is all good right now we can go ahead close minecraft to install the journey map itself so what you want to do is go to your search bar in Windows and type in present sign app data present sign as I do right there and this will redirect you to a folder called roaming um, it might say roaming already right here but in my case it says present sign app data present sign but as you can see it's, le it le it's leading me to the roaming folder anyway so once you're in the roaming folder you're gonna click dot minecraft and open that and then you'll see a mods folder this mods folder is created by downloading and installing minecraft forge without forge you will not have a mods folder right there so because we have it now we can go ahead open this mods folder and just drag journey map right in there and now you can close this and go into Minecraft one last time to see whether the mod is working or not but it should be working just fine and you will see that in a moment so just go ahead make sure again that you have the forge profile selected to be loading the mods into your game 
To be able to play the mods you will always need to have the forge profile selected. Or in some cases light loader. Alright, so as we can see it says 5 mods loaded right now, which was 4 before, so that's all good. I'm going into full screen right now, so that might give a little back black screen. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna create a new world to uh, check uh, whether the map is working and all the options are working just fine. But this was pretty much the complete installation. So it's not that hard at all, and if you have any problems, just let me know in the comments and I will try to reply as quick as I can. Alright, so as you can see in my top right corner there is a map already which is looking really really good. I think Journey Map is one of the better minimaps out there. And yeah, so we can go into... I'm not quite sure what the buttons were. Yeah, alright, so it's B to, re to create a minimap or to create a waypoint on your minimap, I can show that right there. So let's say uh, you have a place where your home is and you'll never want to lose that again of course. You can go ahead and name it home, you can give it like any color you'd like and this color will be saved on the minimap too. So there we go, it's like a green bacon that you can see. I think it's default again for like the other minimaps on 1000 meters that you can see this beacon and after that you will only be able to see a green dot on your minimap in the corner so you will always know in which direction you'll have to go but sometimes it doesn't indicate uh, the distance you're away from it um, alright let's check out some of the other controls really quick I'm not quite sure what they were Alright, so it was J for the full screen map. Um, this might be a bit different when you're playing with a, mod, with a mod pack, by the way. But that doesn't really matter for right now, which you can just go ahead and... Go into J and let's see what we've got right here. This looks like it's a bit upgraded too, so we can go into the options and like... Yeah, you can select all your waypoints or the full screen. Uh, where is it? I'm not quite sure. I think this is if you want to download your map, but... Alright, yeah, so you can toggle toggle things like do you want to show the animals on your minimap or, or hostiles or like other players. You can choose from many types of options and then you right here got a full map which will be loaded once you'll yeah, be walking in any direction and um, yeah that's pretty much it you can create custom layers you can do uh, yeah things like here but I'm not gonna do a complete mod spotlight that's for you to check out I only did this to, inst to show you how to download and install the mod itself so thanks for watching again, if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching and goodbye.